Hi, and welcome to this tutorial for After Effects. Uh, what we're going to do in this is uh, take a monster that's been built in Photoshop, link him up so we, he's ready to animate in After Effects. Now, if you like, you can use this monster. Uh, you can download him from my website. The file is called JJ Simple. Um, and what we're going to do today is open up After Effects and import file. Uh, we're going to grab the JJ Simple. There he is. And when we do that, we're going to make sure that we import as cropped layers. Now that's going to uh, keep the after or the uh, Photoshop uh, layers intact and it's going to make the layers only as big as they have to be. Now you could do this uh, in Illustrator or any vector drawing program or you could use Photoshop or a, a different uh, program but Photoshop works pretty nicely. You'll notice here um, a couple things. Number one, there's no background um, because we want to have a clear background. Um, number two, uh, all the layers are named. It just makes your life a whole lot easier when you get to this stage. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at this object here. This is called body lower. Okay, this is sort of his main body. And we're going to link everything up to that um, so that when we move it, uh, the arms will follow. See, right now everything is sort of separate. But if we link everything up uh, in a hierarchy, then um, everything will move when we move body lower. So we're going to have eyeball big is going to get linked to the eyelid and so is the eye big okay the eyelid is going to get linked to the head uh, the head is then going to get linked to body lower okay uh, skip the toes for now body lowers are our parent object so it doesn't get linked to anything body bottom is going to get linked to body lower and so is everything else okay and this is just a pretty simple little hierarchy um, this is a pretty simple little character if you want to make something more complex you'll have to figure out the hierarchies yourself now, uh, what we're going to do, I skipped the toes because what I want to do is I want to pre-compose these toes so that they're, there's a, a single toes layer. Um, I want them all to move a little bit differently. And because I want that, I had to make them originally separate. But what you can do is take these three layers, and I'm just holding down Control and grabbing all three, and go to Layer Pre-Compose. What that does is it brings uh, those three toe layers into their own composition. So I'm going to call it Toes. Okay, and there we go, we've got our own composition. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wiggle these toes a little bit. Um, once my animation is done, I'm going to bring it back into the JJ Simple. Actually, they're already there. Um, anything I do here affects there. So the first step is uh, each of these layers has sort of this central anchor point. If I rotate it, it's going to rotate around the anchor point. I don't want that. I want them all to, to sort of wiggle from their base. And the way I do that is I just have to change the anchor point. Double click on toe right, and we're just going to bring this anchor point straight down. Okay, and then double click on toe middle, and bring it straight down, and double click on toe left, and bring it straight down. That's good. Um, we can close down this toe layer. So here are th three toe layers now. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to wiggle them. Uh, so why don't we take toe right? and add rotation keyframes. So hit the R key on your keyboard. You can uh, set a keyframe and I'm just going to sort of rotate it a little bit one way and then I'm just going to rotate it a little bit another way. I want these to sort of wiggle and squirm um, while it's going back and forth. So there we go. I've, I've put four little keys in there. That's pretty good. I can copy that and uh, just go through and paste it a few times. They don't all have to be the exact same. I'll just do a couple for now. That's good enough. Okay, I want to do the same thing to toe middle and uh, the same thing to, to toe left. So uh, I'll go ahead and do that and maybe speed this out so I don't bore you. Okay, so I've done a little bit of animation on these toes and I'm pretty happy with it. Of course, I've only gone to four seconds to speed up time, but uh, there we go. We've got these little wiggling tentacles at the bottom of this guy, and, uh, and that's all I have to do. Now when I go into the JJ Simple, I just have to move the toes down a little bit. Uh, they shifted up because of the anchor point adjustment. Okay, and, uh, and now you can see that uh, they're squirming around just fine. Okay, there's my, there are my wiggly toes. 
Okay. Um, I'm going to have to do the same sort of anchor point adjustment to the two arms because right now when they rotate, you'll see that uh, they're not rotating correctly. So there's my right arm. It rotates around that middle anchor point. So just double click on arm right and drag this down to the shoulder. Double click on arm left and drag that down to the shoulder. And then we'll just have to reposition the arms. So we'll just put them like that. And arm right, something like that. Okay. Uh, last step here, um, and just to back up a second, there you go. Now our, now our arms are, are flailing properly. Uh, we could add keyframes to those. Um, our mouth, maybe we can uh, add some keyframes with position to open and close it um, because it can sort of just be moved up and down like that. Okay. Last thing I want to do here is um, uh, have the eye blink a little bit. Well, that's a little too close. There we go. Uh, what we're going to do is take a look. We have the eye is in three separate layers. We have this eyelid at the back and eye big and eyeball. I wanted them separate because I want the eyeball to be able to move around looking left, looking right. Uh, and I have an eyelid on there because I want it to blink. So um, the eyeball can be positioned on its own, no problem. The eyelid is the tricky part to make it blink. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it over top of eyeball big. By the way, this is just one way to do it. Um, I'm going to go to layer mask and put a new mask on there. It makes a rectangular mask. Um, I'm going to just open up these properties here and go into masks. And right now it's a rectangular mask. I'm going to change its shape under mask path and I'm going to change it to ellipse and OK. I'm also going to change it to subtract. OK, now under mask expansion, I can bring that down to minus 50 or so. And there we go. So I'm sort of back to where I started. Um, I'm going to set a keyframe for this eyeball and uh, sort of normal eye right there. Um, I'm going to go two or three frames forward. OK, and I'm going to reduce that mask expansion all the way down. And I'm going to go two frames forward again, and I'm going to bring it back again. And that's about it. Okay, so now I have three keyframes. Um, open, close, and open. And I'll control C that, copy it, and I'll just blink it around here a couple places. And uh, now I've got a nice little blink. And that, uh, that seems to be about the right timing. Fine for me for now. Okay, so this is one way of making your, uh, your character blink. And it's nice that you have this eyeball separation uh, because now I can still take my eyeball um, which is right there, and I can still put position keys on it. It's linked to the eyelid, um, but I can have him looking around and set a keyframe and have him looking around over there again. Back and forth, back and forth. There we go. So now I've got a little bit of animation on this eye. And he's going to look around. Probably want to go a little faster on that next time I animate it. But you get the idea. Okay, uh, I think we're going to have some more After Effects tutorials coming up. So uh, check back, subscribe. See you later.